Now for this painting, um, it was a special request from a friend. Um, I actually do have a light brown and a dark brown. So instead of mixing to save time, I'm just going to pour those out in my palette. Remember, if you don't have a dark and a light, you can always mix in a little white or mix in a little black and you're good to go. Um, I know this is gonna be a filling in painting. Uh, I have a plan, so I'm gonna use a little extra of the lighter brown. Okay, that should be good. Now, for this painting, it's going to be a gingerbread man. That was a special request. I actually went ahead and added some other colors to my palette. So I have black for extra details, eyes, uh, green, red, and blue because these colors remind me of M&M's and candy goes on top of gingerbread man and white. White is for the frosting. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm getting a big lump of my lighter brown that I had earlier. All right, the form of a gingerbread man. Well, we have a head. It's kind of a circular shape. Okay, and like our body, we have a torso. All right. You can kind of think oval for that, okay? So circle, oval, and then we have limbs. Those are our arms and legs. And then get a little more paint. Same idea. You can do oval, or you can do square or rectangle. Whichever one you wanna practice. I'm gonna go about there. My belly button would be about here, right? Okay. So, that's the form of the body. Remember, circle, oval, rectangle or oval legs. Same thing with the arms. Don't worry about all that. Um, the, uh, the discolorating parts, um, those will all tie in. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch up my brush. I'm gonna go to a smaller one. Smaller one is for details. I'm gonna dip it into my dark brown. Now, I know all my friends have been practicing their letters and writing and shapes. I just wanna go around. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just go around the body that you just created. Get some more paint on your brush. This is a smaller one, so the paint runs off pretty quickly. I just go around. You guys can take your time doing this. I'm going a little faster because I'm short on time for my video. And we have so much more fun stuff to do to this. Okay, so around the foot, around the other leg. Ooh, one more should do it. Alrighty. There we go. Voila! Our gingerbread man form. Looking good, huh? All right, so I have a paper towel. I'm just gonna wipe off my brush. I should have other brushes. If you have other brushes, feel free to deep dip uh, each one into the different colors. Um, but I'm just gonna use the same one and then keep using my paper towel in between to clean it. All right, so I'm gonna start with the green. I'm gonna give them a little button right here. All right. Mine's gonna have three buttons. How many is yours gonna have? That is completely up to you. Now I'm dipping into my red. A red button, all right. Wiping off my paintbrush again on a, a damp uh, paper towel. And my last color I have that reminds me of M&M's is the blue. Okie dokie. So you can make black eyes, you can make red eyes, green eyes, blue eyes. I'm gonna go black. It's just a circle on your face, okay? I'm gonna do this first because I need to dry. So I'm gonna show you something at the end. Okay, then I'm going to wipe off my paintbrush again, dip it back in the red, go around like this. An open smiley always works. You can do a closed smiley. You can do lips if you want. You can turn your gingerbread man into a girl and put a bow on top if you like. Or put some hair. Um, now, I'm going to go into my white. My paintbrush is pretty clean. Get a lot on there. And then I'm going to go around where his wrists would be and just kind of go like a swirly, curvy line like that. More paint on my brush. Another swirly, curvy line like that. 
another swirly curvy line and voila okay this is the part I was waiting for it to dry let me get some more white and just kind of go in and give a little dot in the same corner on both sides and it brings it to life voila